research about like, the whole idea was to like protect the border basically and like prevent Arizona from being like a higher ratio of drugs because that's what he stated the fact that you know there's been drugs coming into Arizona and that's why they created this new law because they say that most of the drugs coming are because of immigrants yeah. that's what they say and reading about his little ideology and stuff um, basically like that's their that's their belief and that's their purpose others may think that their purpose is to simply just you know deport any immigrants however like it depends on the way you see it listening to club kids radio it is mother's day weekend samantha you're just intently listening to your mm -hmm. classmate um, but off the air, you were talking a little bit about about the topic, but you guys are kind you're, you're kind of at opposite ends of the spectrum. It sounds like. Well, because I disagree with it. You're wrong. Like, <laughs> 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 like, like, Welcome the to whole, America. The, um, the whole drug thing and stuff, but regardless, you're still gonna have drugs coming in and out of the country. But you're actually. Like you're lessening it, but you can exactly. still grow drugs here, and there's always gonna be drugs here. But it, it's not just drugs as well it's like everything you know like harassment you're you know? still gonna have harassment here aren't you but you're, st you're gonna lesser it so like basically that's what it is that, that's how I see it as but, it but I mean when, when, when you're when you're eliminating people in general every issue becomes less mm -hmm. because you're removing people mm -hmm. so they can say the murder rate has gone down because so many people are moving out of Detroit but <laughs> It's because people are moving out and they might be murderers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's what, I mean, that's like this whole purpose of this um, law is like to basically have them away from here. So, yes, yes, there are other people who, who are not immigrants and yet they do malicious acts, like malicious crimes. However, there are some that are immigrants and they, they do the same malicious acts as well. So I guess they're just trying to limit them. Views on the news, I am not perfect, but I am honest. Scott Cohen is back in the governor's race. Do you know anything about that? This is the dude that, that won the nomination for lieutenant governor, and it turned out that he had a, a police record, and he had beat up a girlfriend, and all kinds of other things, and now he's back in the race, this time as an independent for governor. Views on the news. Samantha, do you know anything about this? I don't know anything about it. What, what, do you, what do you guys follow when it comes to news? Um, my history teacher. The oh, old <laughs> LeBron's elbow hurts. <laughs> the Blackhawks might win tonight. Exactly. Well, it's Mother's Day. Is yeah. that news to you? Yeah. Samantha, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit. Um, you're my niece. Yeah. Most of the world doesn't know this. Are you sure? I a conversation last night. Well, I heard I was yes. Well, we ha we haven't gone to Maury Povich yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the brown envelope, but that's what they tell me. But, but I, I'm going to bring it up for an interesting reason. Uh, um, Samantha, you know us you know, as your uncle and, you know, the other uncles and, and your mom. A and our family is, is surprisingly not a really tight family. You could probably tell in terms of our side of it. Yeah. Um, you guys are a little different. You guys, like, do stuff together even when you're not together. It's kind of interesting. Um, tell me something that I don't know about my big sister because uh, apparently she's um, quite the mother. Oh, well, she's amazing. Um, well, she's, oh, I, you know what I thought she said? I thought she said she's a mean thing. <laughs> <laughs> no. You said she's amazing. Yeah, amazing. See, the mean thing, I would have <laughs> said, yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, she was your big sister, but, um, I don't know, it's just, she supports us in everything we do, and, like, she has to pay for all of my college, because we get no aid. You know, so th 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 see, see that, that's, a, that's another issue. And we could talk about stuff forever. It's 1052, and, and I don't want to get into the bashing of the educational system, especially mm -hmm. since we had, you know, Mr. Sierra on talking about the educational system. But now, you're not getting help. No, at all. Your brother Alex had help. No. Now he's not going to get, well, he had it to begin with, right? No, he had no help. My mom had to pay for him also. Okay, so my mother told me something that... that, that Maybe she was a little confused. She said at some point he had some help with school, but then because he got sick that he wasn't getting that help? What's going on? No, we get, because she makes too much since she's a nurse. So oh, my God, no yeah, they're highly paid. Yeah, so we get no federal aid or anything. Like, me and Alex are taking out loans now, and that's all we can do. But she has to pay for everything, like all our tuition and books and everything. You could start selling stuff, sell your PS3. 
get rid of your cell phones, that's one less bill. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah, have to text true. anymore. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. true. Sell your Facebook. Maybe maybe <laughs> advertise on Facebook. You say social security. But I, I, I <laughs> but I, I asked that with with intent because even though I grew up with her, again, it it wasn't it wasn't a tight-knit family, so I don't think I know her too much. So I, th I figure my niece is going to be in studio. I'm going to ask her about mom since it is Mother's Day, and maybe I'll learn a little bit of something about my sister that I had no idea about. Because you notice when I visit, I hang with you guys. Yeah. I don't go to the other room and, and watch TV or play with the rabbit or whatever it is. Yeah, well, usually she's at work, too. Yeah, that's true, so too. How about your mom? Your, now, your mom's a little bit different. Your mom's always there. She would be picking these guys up. They'd be 28 years old, and they're getting picked up at the club. They had curfew. And I know at one point, and, and, and well, Big Brother David, he, he didn't always seem to enjoy getting the limo service because he was 18 years old. Tell me about your mom. Uh, <coughs> I would say she's every typical Puerto Rican mother. Overprotective. She has a chunk of justice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Literally, like, she stopped walking to school until about... Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go to the prom. <laughs> She's going to be a chaperone. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty funny because um, I remember a couple of times that my brother had gym at 6 o'clock in the morning. And my mom would literally wake up. And there was times that I was up at that time. And we would walk my brother to his gym class, which is at Echo Park. It was it's like pretty funny because my mom's like always there with us, and she's very close to us and attached to us. Now, would would you change any of that in either one of your mother's cases? Now, I know mom's all in Samantha's case. Mom's always working, so she can't walk you to school at six in the morning. <laughs> well, she used to. When I went to St. Helens, we'd always have to walk together. I I mean like I I I think that you know parents should like let the child you know let their child. Lie, <laughs> basically, but like actually, like still be there, but let them fly, like, supervise them, you know, like give them a little freedom, but not too much freedom. So is that why maybe you're not going to UIC because you didn't want to be so close to home? <laughs> <coughs> Possibly, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, that's you know, like, well, I need to experience, I need to experience the world, you know. The, the other thing that 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 both of you have in common is your families are intact. A lot of your buddies. Families are divorced, mom is over there, dad is over there, um, got to go to Maury to figure out the envelopes. <laughs> I, but t you're shaking your head, but you know <laughs> it's true. Tell me about the differences in, in the family that's intact as opposed to some of your friends where, where dad may not be around or, or mom may not be around or some kids are getting raised by grandparents. I mean, like, no matter, no matter who you're raised by, you're still going to be like, like, it depends who, who you're raised by, like, you'll be disciplined. Like, my mom, she's, she's very disciplined. Like, she's, like, four feet two. She's <laughs> shorter than me. Yeah, and if you saw her, you'd think she was, like, the tiniest, quietest person. <laughs> <laughs> but yet, there's times that where the chunk that speaks itself. Like, there's times that I'm still afraid of her. Like, she may, she may be really short, but I'm afraid of her when it comes to specific things. Like, when I'm in trouble... I'm afraid. Like I, I would have to. There's, a, there's that look when you guys are about to get in the van. It's like, oh, man. oh I knew, like you know, like like you, you know, you're in trouble. Like, oh man, here we go, here we go. Like there's times that you know, like I'm gonna have to like act it out. Like if the chunk up comes my way and hits the wall, I go, ah, ah, <laughs> my, stop, stop. Start you know? crying before you get hit. Exactly, That's you know, exactly, you know. That's what I used to do when my father used to hit me. <laughs> there was four of us. He always found me. <laughs> I never understood that. He might not be feeling right. He might have had a beer. He might have not had a beer. It didn't matter. He found me. He had GPS before he invented that stuff, but it was, they were finding me. I never understood that. So, Samantha, talk about your family being intact and, and how important that is. Oh, yeah, it's really important because I've had friends who are, they have single mothers and they, go, like, they end up going to wells, like we were talking about earlier, and their lives are completely different than mine. Like, one of my friends went to Wells, and she didn't make it past her sophomore year. Like, she failed her freshman year, and she went back for her sophomore year, and that was it. 